If you'd like to leave money to charities in your will, but don't think you can donate enough to make a difference, think again. The National Willpower Campaign on Now is hoping to show us that we all have the power to make positive change. Tess Van Stratton shows us in this week's Vital People. Tony Gooch has spent a lot of time on the water exploring BC and the world with his wife. Most of our lives together, Connor and I, have been spin sailing, sailing uh, on all the oceans of the world. The Yoke Bay couple love to be in nature and they're passionate about protecting the environment. I'm very concerned that those things which we found so valuable to us are being lost. So they've decided to leave money to the Victoria Foundation in their will for charities they care about. There's a real risk here on the island uh, of loss of biodiversity, loss of our wilderness, uh, you know, particularly the forests being chopped down, our salmon in trouble. So if we can leave money into the future, then other people can come behind us and they'll enjoy it too. Charitable gifts and wills have helped the Victoria Foundation make a big difference in our community, and it's not just for people who are wealthy. Making a gift in your will is really easy to do, and we can all do it. The National Willpower Campaign, currently underway, is hoping to inspire people to use their will to help change the world. You can support the causes that have been important to you during your lifetime. You want to make sure you're providing for your family, but you can do both. Even if each of us gave 1% of our estate to the charities that are meaningful to us, we would all help lift up our community. At Victoria's Belfry Theatre, which is one of several local nonprofits taking part in willpower, they're getting ready to reopen after being hard hit by COVID. We've been closed to the public for about a year and a half now, and we're just gearing up to open to live audiences again in November. So it's been a destabilizing time. The Belfry usually gets one bequest a year, and they've helped the theatre survive and thrive. That's been a really important part of building the future health and stability for the theatre, as well as right now in this difficult time. For Tony, giving back to the community he's called home for 35 years was a given. Well, we've enjoyed it. We've enjoyed the world. We've had a great life. I think it's important for our generations and the ones behind us as well to bring forward as much resources as we can so the future generations can enjoy it just as, as well. Vital People, brought to you by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.